They just called. It should be coming around the corner soon. Hopefully it's not that rickshaw. Ah, oh, that's it. You must be Miguel. Yep. Sorry if I record you real quick. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> right. Good to meet you, man. Good. Oh, it looks really good. I love it. I'll yeah. just do a quick walk around on the outside yeah, go ahead. of it. Awesome. Man, I've been waiting a while for this. Yeah, it looks great. It does look great. Oh man, perfect. It was hard to find pictures of what that was gonna look like. That came out really nice. Yeah, that's slightly new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks great. Oh man, so excited. All right, show me what I need to know. All right, if you want to take a quick seat, I'll collect sure. the signatures for me. All right, so I see that you're actually all paid up. Okay. Perfect, so just Perfect. registration paperwork actually. All right, awesome. All right. So a diamond disclosure saying you're buying a brand new car, signature okay. above your name, and your car currently has nine miles on it. All right, awesome. Okay. That was it for yeah. paperwork, real easy, almost nothing. Yeah, pretty simple. All right, uh, and then do you have the mobile app downloaded? I do, yeah. All right, let's pair up your phone. Go ahead and allow. Nice. Oh, it's different and now. You yeah. can always control solar panels uh, through here too. Okay. Um, and then let's go to phone key. Go ahead and hit start. All right, I already had the key card on here. Oh, okay. Uh, go ahead and hit done and always allow. Uh, and then you got two key cards in here. Okay. These are going to be your backups in case your phone ever dies. All right. Uh, so you do want to keep one of these in your wallet. Got it. Um, but I'll other than that, my wallet yeah. Other than that, when you approach the vehicle, all you have to do is open the door handle. The car is going to sense the phone and unlock as you do that. Okay. And then when you walk away, the car will honk and let you know that it locked. Okay. All right. Nice. So all that's done automatically. And the manual way is that icon on the right there. Okay. A push Got of it. that one would do the action there. Okay. Yeah. Easy. Um, super easy there. Um, you can see where you do climate to preheat or pre cool the car. Mm -hmm. uh, you can control charging off of there, see where it's located. Uh, if you scroll all the way to the bottom, it gives you your odometer and your VIN. Okay. Tesla likes to work off those last six. So right. if they ever ask you, you can pull it right off of your. Oh, app. okay, cool. All right? Yeah. Uh, so that's it for the phone, uh, and then on the car, let's go ahead and program the Bluetooth. Sure. Uh, go to settings. Yep. Uh, Bluetooth, and then you hit start search. All right. There you are. And then when the numbers populate, you'll hit pair on your phone. Yep. Allow. How many of these do you do a day? Uh, today we had, uh, me personally, I'm doing five. Holy crap. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then I, some of my colleagues are doing some too. Okay. Yeah. Wow. That's amazing. I'm glad there's so much uh, demand. So it's just connected. Oh, yeah. Uh, all right. So that's done. Uh, you can make phone calls and play media. If you okay. ever play something off of your phone, just make sure volume is all the way up on your phone. So you just use the cars. Okay. Yep. Cool. Um, all right. So that's programmed. Uh, I like the regular view on the map. Uh, and then, so I always like to go over the voice commands on the car. Sure. Uh, you great. can activate it with the push of that microphone okay. or this right scroll wheel, just okay. a click. Uh, and then you wait for the tone, and then the keyword is navigate, followed by the name of the business or address that you would like to go to. Okay. Uh, if you want to give it a try. Navigate. Girl in the goat, Chicago. Nice. Yeah. And then give it a little bit to look it up. There's only one of those, so it yeah. just throws it on. Perfect. Yeah. And then voice commands is also for your music player. The okay. The keyword is going to be play, okay. followed by the song or artist that you want to hear. Okay. And that pulls it through the car. Okay. So if you want to give that a try. Yeah. Play 
Beastie Boys, No Sleep Till Brooklyn. And we'll give it a little bit to look it up. And then when the music bar isn't here at the bottom, you just got to give that uh, musical note a push. If you want to just see what's playing. Oh, yeah. That whole left side is your media. All right. Nice. A click is play and pause. Side to side would be skip forward or skip back. All right. All right. Sounds and then so good. when you don't see it, if you give this a push, it shows you here. All right. Uh, and awesome. then if you bring this up, uh, you also have radio for regular regular FM. Yeah. Streaming is an online radio called Slacker. You give it a song or artist and it plays like music. Okay. Um, no commercials on this one. You can skip as many times forward as you want. You just can't skip back. Okay. All right. Uh, phone uh, is if you wanted to play something off of your phone and hear it through the car. Uh, and then tune in is for podcasts and radio stations uh, all over the world. Cool. Yeah. That's awesome. Uh, and then... The last voice command is for phone calls. Okay. The keyword is call, followed by the contact name on your phone. Okay, got it. Yeah, so navigate, play, and call. Okay. All right? Easy enough. Uh, climate is controlled through the bottom here. Uh, all your settings are through the little car. Okay. Uh, so three tricky things with the Model 3, one being the glove box. You got to go to your settings, and then at the bottom of your list, you have glove uh, box. I see it. Okay, yep. cool. Uh, if you want to open it up real sure. quick. Uh, so this is your temporary registration. Okay. Again, you want to get that Chicago City sticker within 30 days or they're going to... Yeah, you. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll grab that tomorrow. As, as soon as you can. Um, and then another one is your wipers, also done through the screen. Okay. Uh, it's that icon right there. Okay, got it. I like to turn them on and put it to auto. That way it's just rain sensing. Got it. Uh, and then you got your four manual speeds if you need them. Okay. Uh, and then the third thing is your hazards. That one's not on the screen. That's a button up here. Oh, got it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Actual button. All right, yeah. cool. All right, and then uh, turning on and starting the car. When you see right here and it's blank, that lets you know that it's off. Okay. Go ahead and press the brake. Once you see the PRND, that yeah. lets you know it's on. Okay. Uh, and then this lever on the right is how you shift into gear. All the way down for drive. Okay. All yep. the way up for reverse. Neutral is a slight nudge uh, and hold. Okay. All right, and then the uh, park is the button at the end of that lever. All right, cool. Yeah, and super you can easy. Feel the brake move. Because uh, the automatic uh, parking brake uh, oh, gets applied, yeah. so okay. when you push that, you'll feel the release of that because yeah. it gets pushed in. Um, and then the lever on the left is just your normal turn signals. Okay. Uh, that button at the end of the lever would be for wiper fluid. Uh, if you it. ever have like the bugs or dust that you want to wipe off. Okay. Um, yeah, and then the car is going to turn off as soon as you get off of your seat. Okay. All right. Got it. Cool. Um, and then the last thing I want to go over with you is the charge cable we have in the back. Sure. All right. All right. Let's do it. And then to get out, it's the button at the top of this handle. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm just uh, starting a YouTube channel. Nice, uh, nice. That's cool. Based entirely on Tesla, so it's there's a few videos out there so far. Nice. Yeah. All right. So it comes with the regular 110 outlet. Okay. Uh, it's gonna attach like this. Uh, if you, uh, there's other adapters too if you needed it. All right. Um, this just lines up with the pattern in here. Okay. It snaps into place. This into the outlet. This end into the car. Okay. And then to take this out, there's no button. You just give it a firm push. Oh, nice. Or pull. Uh, and then this adapter here is what you're going to use at the third-party charging stations. Got it. So the ones that you see like at Whole Foods or even Walgreens. Yeah, yeah. Their cord looks slightly different than ours. Okay. So you'll attach this to their cord, and then this end will mimic the Tesla one. Okay, got it. So you it. can charge there too. Okay. Um, so keep this one inside the car so you have it when you need it. All right. All right. How do I open up the little charging cord thing? Perfect. Uh, I step off to the side here. Yeah. So for you to be able to plug in yep. and unplug, the car has to be unlocked. Okay. And that's so nobody's messing with your car while you're away. Makes and sense. then to open it up, you give it a push at the bottom here. Okay, cool. Uh, and there's oh, a few nice. different ways too. You can do it off of the screen in the car, off of your mobile app. Yeah. Or even uh, if this was plugged into power, you can give this button a push too. Okay. All right. Awesome. Uh, so the soft blue light lets you know that it's ready to be plugged in. Okay. Uh, and then if you want to get a quick feel yeah. for it. Oop, uh, just a little more in. 
right there. Oh, yeah. Um, right. And then this light, if it was plugged into power, would turn green. Okay. Uh, and then when you're ready to unplug, press and hold on that button until you see the soft blue light. Okay. Easy enough. Yeah. All right. Uh, and then you never have to really force that close. It just closes on its own. Oh, sweet. So never going to drive with like that it. open. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's great. I'll keep this in the well. All right. Keep your trunk empty. Uh, and then this is the front license plate okay. bracket. Keep this in the car. Okay. So when you get those in the mail and you stop by, we can just throw that out. All right. Sounds All right. good. Um, the only other question I had, yeah. does it pair up with your garage door opener? Uh, it does. Okay. It's super easy. There's a little house. Uh, yeah. Symbol on top, at the top right by the Bluetooth. Okay. Uh, and then it gives you step-by-step -step instructions. Okay. But all you have to do is basically park the car in front of the garage. And then, it, like, you'll name it garage or home, whatever you want to call okay. it. Uh, and then when you go to program, you'll take the clicker up to the front where the emblem is, and we can go over okay. there. Okay, yeah, uh, that'd be awesome. Front, so with the remote, you'll press and hold it right by the emblem. Okay. And then the lights will oh, flash at you right. when it picked it up, and then just sit inside and finish programming. Okay. Uh, do you have your phone with you? Yeah. Let's go ahead and open up the front trunk. And that center icon right there. Yes, sir. All right. Sweet. That's so cool. Yep. So just some extra storage here. All right. You got your tow hook in the back. Okay. If you ever get towed, it does have to be on a flatbed. All right. What's this little guy? Uh, that right there uh, is for the firefighters. If you ever get in a really bad accident, it oh. lets them know where to put the power source. Oh wow. Okay. So get electric. All right. I will pull that off then. Yeah. Uh, and then. The washer fluid is the only maintenance you worry about. Okay. Uh, and then we recommend uh, once every two years bringing it in for a checkup. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, and then to close this, go yeah. ahead. Uh, you'll feel that it won't have the weight to slam shut. Just like that, lean into it. Once awesome. you feel that click, it's done. Dude, I'm so excited. Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks, Welcome to brother. Family. Yeah, this is awesome. I appreciate it. I love it. Let me get you All in front right. of the car. Three. Thank you, Miguel. <laughs> You're awesome. Awesome. All right.